Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Mate ABC English. I want to show you about modeling with linear functions in order to know how to apply mathematics in our daily life. A parking lot in the city charged two dollars per hour for the first hour, and one dollar per additional hour. Express the parking fee as a function of the number of hours parked. Okay, guys. So the first part that you have to resolve is finding the variable that we are using here. Is the most important part in order to get the problem resolved. So you can see that for every hour that you are parked, they will be charging a certain amount of money. So this will this variable will be x that will be the hours parked in the this will be the x and this will be the amount of money so in the first hour you will be charging you two dollars no but you have to add a zero zero plus mm, any amount will be this amount by the neutral neutral property of the addition and this the I will explain you this later so in the second hour you will be charging you two dollars plus one times one dollar because this is the for the first additional hour you will in your first hour and you don't have any additional hour but here you have your first additional hour so if you have three hours they will be charging you two dollars plus two times one dollar and this is we, as you can see here, by the same logic, we can have here one dollar. So two dollars plus zero times one, this is two dollars. Well, in here you will have two plus one dollar equals three, and here you will have two plus two, so this will be four dollars. So as you can see here, in the general rule, as you, uh, you can, that you are finding here, will be in n x hours you will have two dollars plus. As you can see here, two equals three minus one, so we can have by our intuition we have x minus one times one dollar. As you can see, 3 minus 1 equals 2, 2 minus 1 equals 1, and 2, 1 minus 1 equals 0. So, our logic is, is good. We found uh, the general rule. So, we have that f of x equals the parking fee. So f of x will be this general rule that we found here will be 2 plus x minus 1 times 1 but as you can see here by the identity property you will have that f of x equals 2 plus x minus 1 so this these guys will be the general rule Another example says like this. A long piece of 10 inch can sheet will bend the edge up to form the sides of a gutter. Express the area of the cross section of the gutter according to its height. So we have to find the variable. As you can see, this is our, our large piece. So we have 
this length side is 10 inch. But you will uh, bend up the edge. So this will be a height and this will be the height. So you can you can have here So this distance is H, H, and this will be also H. But we call this the points A and B. These points will be A and these points will be B. So in order to get the cross section, you will have to this distance AB. So as you, as you can see here, this is h and this is h because this is the height as you can uh, when you can either move this as this and you will have that this distance is h and also this so you have that the distance a b equals 10 inches minus h that you are subtracting this and also this minus h and ab equals 10 minus 2h so the area of the cross section is as you can see here you have a and b and this is h so this distance as you can see is 10 minus 2h but this is a rectangle so you will have that the area of the cross section will define as the following. We'll define we'll find the area of the cross section based on its height. And finally guys, I let you, you guys to resolve this problem and it's left as exercise. And it says like this. On the roof of a 20 meters building, you threw a ball into the air with an initial vertical velocity of 40 meters per second, so that it falls to the floor and not to the ceiling. How high will the ball reach? At what time will it reach its maximum height? When will the ball reach the floor? Okay guys, so... I will give you this hint in order to get the problem resolved as the following. H of 8 is the function in terms of what time is transcurring and this will be minus 16 times t squared plus the initial vel vertical velocity times t plus the initial height. You only have to substitute for watching this video, like, comment and subscribe to this channel Master ABC English and I hope you guys to see you in my next videos. Bye!